So this first example, we have this function, and we're using the function notation you can see here, f of x equals 2x minus 1. Now you can think of the f of x just like a y, that's the output, right? But you see how the domain is listed here, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2? The domains are the inputs. Those are the x values. That's what you're putting into your function. And then the range, those are going to be the, the outputs. Those are the y values, OK? So let's just uh, make a table here, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. If we put negative 1 in for x, you can see we're getting negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 3. If we put 0 in, 2 times 0 is 0, minus 1 is negative 1. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1. And then 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. Now, because the domain is just these you know, uh, particular values, okay, we're just going to plot these particular points. So we have negative 1, negative 3. So right there, 0, negative 1, uh, 1, 1, and 2, 3. So you can see it's just these points. Now, you don't want to draw a line through these points because that would uh, imply that any point on that line you know, is uh, what we're dealing with in regards to this particular problem. And, and we don't want to uh, work with those points in between. We're just looking at these individual points. So when x is negative 1, you know, here's our output negative 3, and, and so forth. So discrete basically means that they're separate. They're not connected. They're uh, just those individual points. It's not continuous. So there, you can see there's a break in between each of the points. So it can just be those particular values. OK, now let's go over to the second example here. g of x equals 3x plus 2. But now it says the domain is all real numbers. So that means that x can be anything. So what we're going to do is we can make a table again if you want, just x and y table. We'll just pick some values like uh, maybe uh, 1, 0, and negative 1. So if we put 1 in, we get 5. If we put 0 in, we get 2. And if we put negative 1 in, we get negative 1. So let's just plot those points real quick here. We've got 1, 5, 0, 2, and negative 1, negative 1. Okay, now the difference in this problem is that because the domain is all real numbers, meaning that x can be anything, all the way here to the left, all the way to the right, forever and ever, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line through these points, and I'm going to also add the arrows to show that it keeps going. So, you know, if x is negative 1,000, I can still find a point on my graph here. Or if x is in between negative 1 and 0, like maybe a negative 0.5, there's a point on the graph. So how would we know, you know, which one of these types of uh, graphs to draw, well, it depends on the problem. Like, if you're doing a problem that's related to the number of uh, books that you're reading, you probably would just count those in terms of like a whole books. So you say, okay, one book, two books, three books. So those would be individual points. You wouldn't be connecting those. You wouldn't necessarily be plotting, you know, I you know, read 2.3 uh, amounts of a book, you know, like that. It wouldn't make so much sense in the context of that problem. Or if you're, you're baking something, maybe so many cakes, uh, and that kind of thing. Whereas if you're maybe traveling, let's say uh, like a problem where you have like a distance equals rate times time, you could travel for, you know, a minute or an hour or a day. You know, there, you could be any one of those values, you know, along that uh, spectrum of domains, those inputs. And so the range could be anything along those spectrum of outputs and you would have a continuous graph. It could be any point uh, along that line and it would uh, make sense in the context of the problem. So I hope to help you understand a little bit better the difference between a discrete and continuous. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.